Hello everybody, Heidi here, the Yorkshire Crafter. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're well. I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this first because somebody's asked me how I did it. So I'm going to show you. Um, just ignore my one on top. It's because I'm going to use it now. Um, I get, got these plastic wallets from um, Amazon. And because I'm constantly... Um, let me show you a smaller one. Because I I have them out all the time. I'm, it's like now what I'm going to use now. They're not in the right envelopes because some I haven't sorted out yet into, into these. But like this. Instead of having to root for one at a time, this is so much easier for me. And I keep the labels there. So much easier for me. So I'll just show you, I'll say somebody's asked me how I did it. It's really simple, to me it's really cheap. Um, so these came off Amazon. And all I've done, this is, um, get two pieces of copy paper, put them together, put them in a carrier sheet for your mm, laminator, put them through the laminator. So obviously it'll come out sealed. Then once it's done, I cut all the edges off, all the way around, cut it in half, and you end up with this. Then on the back, I have a load of horrible, what I call horrible cheap paper, what I just use for behind, padding on cards for stacking. So I've just cut that a little smaller, because if you don't, this it bends up and you just end up this looks rubbish so if you put that behind then when it comes to taking your stamps off putting them back on you've no problem whatsoever and the um, I cut these down just so I can get more on it cut round it stick glue dots on back and stick it in there like I say I cut the names off and they all go into a little pouch on the back but that's what I do it's somebody asked me so there you go so I'll leave that out because I say I'm going to be using that right I'll move that out of the way right before we get going again I'm doing a, a shout out for let's have a look Jennifer Kelly who is from South Wales hi and welcome um who's also got a birthday next week you share the same birthday as my lovely daughter-in-law, which is who this is for, actually, what we're going to do now. And another shout-out is for Audrey Shaw from Scotland, um, ex-Yorkshire ex lass. And you share the same birthday as my grandson, Toby. So, there you go. One more thing. Um, we have set up a Facebook group for for anybody and everybody it's not just Lavinia it's the literally anything you want to put on there and we are looking for some admin uh, moderators so because I'm not gonna have time to do it I'm gonna be on there because I'll have a look at what you're all putting in I want you all to get talking to each other and seeing everything that everybody else does instead of me just seeing it all the um, comments coming in and everything I want you all to see them because they're so nice and it's it's nice to be appreciated so get all your stuff in there no matter what make no matter whether you think it's good or not put it in and let's have a let's have a, a laugh let's have a I don't mean I'm laughing at your work that sounds awful doesn't it <gasps> ignore me just go to the Facebook group Heidi the Yorkshire Crafter right let's crack on so I'm making a little bag and I know what I'm doing on this side. I don't know what I'm doing on that side. So I'm going to crack on. Otherwise, we're going to be at 10 hours instead of 5 hours. <laughs> right, let's get cracking. These will fold. And I hate this, that the fact that I've used a die to cut these out. Because not everybody has them. So if you want to make this and just use them, um, you know, make it into a box. Straightforward, there's loads of tutorials to make um, boxes and stuff. So if you want to do it that way, or if you have this die, or any, people have other dies that can work for something like this. I'm just 
I'm not folding it properly, I'm just giving it a right. So we'll crack on with the first one. Right. Just using the green that's on my brush because I'm doing very lightly to start off with. This is going to be the bottom of the card, so I'm not worried about it. And I'm just having a look at my yeah, that doesn't need to be coloured, just that one and that one. See, it's new to me as well. Right, I woke up this morning with really bad sinuses, so you just have to bear with me. I suffer badly with them and it's just so happens it's today. So I'm just going just short of halfway up. And because this is going to be around the side, I am going to bring this into it as well. So, in fact, I'm going to make all that green. So, there you go. And then, coming in with the blue, this is just so I know, sort of where, you know, things are going to be placed. Obviously, they'll be darkened up, but it was just purely just for that. And actually, because I think the more or less going to work the same way as the other one, we might as well bring that in as well. So I'm not adding out to it yet, I'm literally just, I mean one of these, you won't see one of the bottoms, so in fact we'll leave it off that one, it doesn't matter does it. There we go. So the first thing we're going to do, I think I'll stamp them both up at the same time because I don't. Yeah, because I'm going to eat and boss them anyway. So this little stamp is called Eden. And this is my granddaughter's name. I've been desperate to use this one. So Eden's going to go on that one. And if I've put this one back in the right place, this one is Joseph. I'm not saying I've put them in the right place. Right, so we know where they're going. I'm going to ink them up in Nocturne. I wasn't sure how they would stamp. I've used, I've cut this out in um, multivarious card. So this should, to be fair, should work all right. I just looked up because someone told me then that I weren't even recording. That would have been fun. Right, I'm going to try and get her feet to as near as the bottom as I can get them. And to the corner. Yeah, as near as the bottom as I can get them where the fold is. That's why I folded it, so I could see um, where her feet are. I didn't use my anti-static. So that could end up everywhere. While I'm pushing that down. Anti-static on the other one. I mean, I always tell you, I um, I always um, clear emboss mine, but if you're wanting to highlight your fairy, then don't, because I've just done it and tried to highlight it after and it didn't really work. That's okay, that's took good coverage. This is why I didn't put a dark layer on underneath. Right, and then we'll ink up Eden in the same colour. I'm going to stamp Eden off because it's not been um, stamped before, just to see what, hmm, we can always blacken it up with the pen, can't we? You'll have to excuse me if I keep needing a drink, on some sinuses is absolutely killing. But I thought if I didn't do this today, I've got my granddaughter coming in an hour, so then I pick my grandson up, so 
I always have a busy Monday afternoon. And Eden stays overnight tonight, so. Getting carried away there, putting it on the same one, and now I've just wiped her hand off. I don't know what's been happening with my um, videos. They just seem to, at one point, I was getting absolutely loads of subscribers. I, I, honest God, I was on cloud nine, and now they're just, they're still coming in, but just like it, it a myth. I'm, I wondered if I'd done something wrong. If people were bored and my videos too long, but nearly everybody comments and says um, they prefer the long video because you get to see all my mistakes. Oh, and there's plenty. I got a lady the other day, was she? Oh, from Canberra. I can't remember her name, I found. Um, and she says she struggles with my accent. I felt so bad. It's such a droll accent. Right, this should be okay. Yeah, we'll take that. Alright, let's hope that I haven't left it too long to get some embossing powder on. Always clear emboss. Everything me. Saying that, I'm going to put some hairs on these and I haven't clear embossed them. That's took all right. So these are two new stamps for me that I've not, I mean, I've had them, I've had Eden for a long time. I bought her simply because of the name. And I think this one's quite new to me. If you've got some stamps, you know, and you don't know what to do, providing I've got it. That's because I didn't anti-static it. Yeah, providing I've got it, if you go on the Facebook group and put in there um, what it is, um, I'm quite happy to have a go. I'm not saying I'm going to get out brilliant, but I am more than happy to have a go. When I've done this bag today, I'm just going to melt this. When I've done the bag today, I am... Um... Oh, I weren't going to sell this to my daughter-in-law, but I don't think she'll watch this before her birthday. I'm going to make her a wallet. So that's what I'll do for my next video. I'll make the wallet to go inside this bag. She's no idea what she wants for her birthday, so we're going to go away in a couple of months. And three peaks, I think she said they got to do. So I'll have Eden while they go and do that. And then she'll have some pennies then to take with her and have some chill time. They deserve it. So, alright, I've not fallen asleep. There we go. I know I say it every time, but just to watch that is amazing. I love it. Right. I'm just going to have a quick do it. I maybe shouldn't be drinking fizzy pop, should I? <laughs> now what's going to happen there? Right, I'm going to ink up the... I'm going to use my new line punch because I've got a new one. Um, I'm just going to start inking round the bottom to bring a bit more colour into it. I don't necessarily want that bit, but I'm... You don't have to, you can either tuck it away or 
leave it. Just bringing a bit of colour in where the green is. Actually, I am going to put one of the hairs here. I should have already stamped it, I presume, yeah. Probably. It's right. Isn't that what a black Sharpie pen's for? To colour it in. See, I'm doing that one, little one there because this will go there. So you will see the... Sorry. You will see the little flap. So it, it literally is just going to be green, is that? I am going to turn that over. It's just a bit easy. Oh, you should see it stated the other one that I've just done. I need to keep a check on colour of my hands. It was filthy. I was adding all sorts to it. Just to cover up the blemishes. Right, I think the green's done on that one. Where's this one? And we know we're going to see the side bits. And um, this is, um, what day is this? I think it's tonic. I'm absolutely sure it's tonic. Let's see what time it is when we finish. See, if, if I don't tell you on the video, I'll put it in the link below. Yeah, if you want to... Um, receive happy mail or birthday mail when it's your birthday my email address will be in the bottom in the description if you want to um, send me your birthday and your address and for those that have birthdays late in the year will receive happy mail I sent out for four lots the other day I think I did eight last week Right, now we're going to bring in the blue. Okay, who's taking my blue brush? Here it is. I'm going to put a little bit of um, Blue Lagoon on elements. Just do it round the angle handle not angle and while I'm on this one I'm just using the mask from the Lavinia and just pushing it off the edge I'm not inking up anymore it's really surprising how much you get off your brush when you do this Probably should have gone with green here, but it's okay. Mm, I'm going to go a bit darker. That's better. I like that better. That one aside, and um, we're just going to carry on, make sure my hands are clean, inking up, just making it a little bit darker. I'm not going around that because I'm going to put a bit of yellow into it flower. Same again. That's fine. Put that one away. And I do have a little bit, I think I've got a little bit of yellow on there. Oh, I am really bothered about 
ruining this now. I didn't half ruin the other one. I'll tell you what. Let's see if it works, what Joe does. I'll still forget. So I'm just putting a little bit of yellow in there. So I don't want it to go green. It was more for the flower. Or weed. There we go. Do the same with this one. I know there's no flower, but it just... So no inking up. Leave it as it is. Right, we're going to put some words on and um, the hair. So I'm going to have, is it the whimsical hairs? Whimsical hairs, if it's in the right packet, on this side. He only ended up on the practice one because I'd put a big blob there. So we'll link him up. It didn't take too well either, so I had to use a sharpie on him. I don't mind doing that. Right, and I'm just going to see where to put it now. Kitchen tops here. I'm literally just going to... Well, actually, I'm going to put my bit further up because I did put some foliage in. So this is the one I practiced, this is the one I didn't practice, but it's more or less, just with different stamps, but more or less doing the same thing. This is what I was going to put on the back and just ink round it, but I just didn't think it fitted. So I'm going to, I'll use that and make a, a gold one altogether. Right. Oh, that's Brilliant, it took this time. No mistakes there. Yet. Um, where's he from? He's from there. Put that in there. I'm going to do Pippin. I love Pippin. I have to wet the back of them so they don't even stick anymore. Oh, I've got an itchy back. Sorry, I'm just going to... Oh, that's better. Right. Not the turn again. Hopefully it'll do it. I don't know if you remember, but on my um, last video, I showed you um, a slate that I was doing, and it had Logan on it, looping. Um, it didn't work. The resin soaked straight through. Um, you wouldn't have even known I put any on. It just soaked it straight. In. So I mean, I'm trialing um, colouring it first, uh, undercoating it sort of thing. So I've bought all different kinds of undercoat. Some of them haven't worked, and some I've seen that didn't work, did it? Too good to be true, wasn't it? Yeah, some of them have worked, some of them have not so as and when I master it. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put some pictures in group so you can see where the mistakes are. So you know that, I mean, resin to me, it's, it's such hard work. It's a right talent. And I just normally use it, I'll show you in a minute, I use it to cover my stones. And I stopped doing them because... The resin were really getting me down because it kept going wrong, but I've mastered it again now. I had it off to a tea before and then all of a sudden it just went wrong and I thought, well, I've, I knew I'd change resin and all sorts, but I've got it again now. So I'll just show you. This is the, when it's got, you see how the shine is? So I paint the stone and then I just resin on top of it. But to do a deep resin, a, a proper um, 
deep pour so you're literally just using resin it's been it's been hard work trying to master it but i've done it now so right we are getting way laid let's so off the jaw say you've got the little um i don't know what you call it the little i don't know what you call it one of these fair what i used to call a fairy when we we're growing up so i'm going to put a few of them about i'm not going to emboss them i'm just gonna hopefully stamp them clearly and i'm going to put i did put some in here yeah because you're going to see that bit I'm going to put some on the handle. I'm on my own today, Alexis downstairs with Daddy. It's strange being in here and it being quiet. She knew I was coming up and all. You guys are amazing about Lexi. The comments I get about her. It, it, it's so nice. I tell her, I tell her what you say. Right, that's enough there, but I'm actually going to bring it floating into this side, if that makes sense. don't know if it'll match. Like I say, I didn't try this side. So it's going to, just like it's coming in, blowing in from the other side. And we might as well put it in handle, are not we? Now I have, I can't find them, I have some little velcro dots so to fasten this bag i would have put a dot on either side and it'll just velcro shut and dead easy to open i can't find them so i will order some but there's not going to be any on here i think i'm wondering if this is where all ink came from last time oh i'm going to stop i nearly dropped that then that's okay in fact, I like the fact that I brought it in from the other side. Right, what do we do next? What do we do next? Right, we're going to put in some... Oh, I'm going to put the words in. That's finished. Move that out of the way. So, this one, some seaweed, other seawish. It's so true, isn't it? I used to, what we, like I say, what we called it a fairy, hold it, blow it up in air. And make a wish. Yep, that's fine. So this is going on the other one. And I don't think I've left room for one on this side. I was putting one on this side. In fact, I haven't left room to it on here now. But I did have it here, so it's still going there. It's going there. I just love what it says. It's so true. Yeah, that's perfect. Right, I'll show you what I was putting on the other bit. I don't think there's room for it. I was putting, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Um, my daughter-in-law is a true, I don't want, can't say a fairy, kind of, but she believes in She's the kind of person that make you believe in fairies. I'm still going to put it in. Because I think it's lovely. I'm going to stamp it off. Perfect. Have I just put too much on? No, it was right. Right, let's see if we can get this to fit in there. It doesn't matter if it's all but flowers, does it? Well, too late. Right, a little bit of foliage and then we'll put it together. 
it is really simple i wanted to keep it simple because the idea behind the whole thing is quite dramatic isn't it so if we kept the actual bag simple it won't be as daunting not for me either i find it quite daunting right let's put some foliage in what did i do what did i do Where's my stamps gone? Who's got my stamp? There you see. I thought I'd finish with them. Right. This is from the flower pods. And I'm going to put them in. I'm going to put them in green, but in a permanent. Let's try Rainforest. It might be a tad too dark. Let's have a look. Nah, I'm going with that. I like that. And the reason I put this one in is because it went with the bottom of the um, fairy flower. all across Hold them under. put a bit at this side it's not very good is it you need to that's it um last one obviously we'll carry that on round there I'm going to mark it. I mean, it's up to you what forward you use. We've all got different, haven't we? So, not bothered if it touches the fairy because it'll wipe straight off her because she's embossed. Um, I'm not going to put them all on. I'm going to leave that. Is that one done? Off the same um, set, I'm going to use the little small lantern. And I'm going to stamp it in Twilight. See on the other one I, I tried it in all different colours and this was my favourite one that came out. Yeah I like that. I, I, I brought colouring like pinks and stuff and it just didn't, it didn't work for me. Um, I'll put one on the corner here. That looks like it's doing a shadow stamp, doesn't it? Right, just, oh, look, I've done it already. I've done it here. Wow. So. Um, yeah, that's going low down. Way lower than I wanted to put it. Where is the ink? Right, that's that one. I'll colour the windows in when we're nearly done. That's made me really cross. I've tried my best not to get it everywhere. I was going to put another big one here, but I think... I don't want to overdo it. The last one looked a bit overdone. 
I've marked that one as well. What is wrong with me? Right. Try again. So, I'm going to be in the field graph. There's only a couple more bits to put on it and then we're putting it together. That's finished. So the field grass I did in um, cheerful and I don't know. Do you know what? Let's go for it. Let's see if this works. See that you can see that, can't you? Yeah, I don't want to really do out darker because I'm going to bring a lot of green down the bottom yet. So I'm just going to fill the bottom with this. That's all. Yeah, good plan. Yeah, I like that. And then we're not going too overboard, are we? I'll say it'll wipe off her leg, but I'm not doing it yet because I'll smudge it. I think that's enough, yeah. Don't overdo it either. And time's ticking. Somebody messaged this morning and says they was in bed and the the what oh yeah they woke no I went to bed last night watching the videos and then woke up this morning and watching them in bed. That's me all over is that. Anytime I'm watching a crafted video, because my husband works nights, that's when I get the peace and quiet to do it. So I watch mine at night in bed. And first thing in the morning. It brings me a brew up in the morning. And I put the Put a video on if there's one for me to catch up on. I watch all kinds of videos because my supplies are so many, so different. I've got all sorts of different brands and stuff, which is what I said I'm going to do. Are you fed up with hearing my voice? I'm going on and on, aren't I? I don't know, I can hear somebody just said, yeah. <laughs> I think that's all right. What do you think? Can't hear me, can you? What? Can't answer me. Need to get this live sorted, don't we? This is why I need admins as well, so that they can push it as well as me. I think this one may be missing something. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? I don't really want to start putting a different colour in, she says. I'm just putting a little bit of this in and I'm using Warm Breeze. I love this colour. For what I did on the first one, I put it all around the handle, this. Ah, oh, yeah, I do I like that. Yeah, I'm not going to put it around the handle this time because I go around with a load of colour anyway. Does that look like something that belongs under the sea? That won't work, would it? Yeah, I think that's it's just done it, hasn't it? I'll add a little bit just to keep it uniform, but I won't put as much on this side. Put it up the side. Ugh. Now we have to put it down here. There we go. Easily sorted. I 
Right. We're going to leave it because we're going to colour bottom anyway. That's all your stamping done. So I can move them out of the way. Right, so we're going to um, just think up around the bottom. I'm going to use Lime Punch. It just it makes it more definite and I think it's it's needed so it's not just dropping off edge. And besides my paper cracks a bit when I fold it up like this to do this bag. I don't know why, because this paper's excellent for whatever I use it for, anything. There, that definitely needed it, didn't it? Look at the difference. Same with this side. It's a long video, guys. I'm sorry. But when I do the what they call it tomorrow, the wallet, I think I'm going to decorate the wallet. Um, no idea what I'm going to put on it. Bearing in mind that um, my daughter-in-law likes everything magical, so I'll probably follow the same sort of thing. Right, then, oops, a daisy, lost some with the makeup sponge, or I don't know what they call, but it calls them, I don't do makeup. I'm just going to come in a little bit further, a uh, little bit, you know, just on the edge, not as far as where we've just been. I just think these are easier to control. I hope you all had a, a nice Mother's Day. I certainly did. I was spoiled. I got loads of flowers. I've only got two kids. Why? A classic is um, four kids. Because I've got son-in-law, daughter-in-law. Yeah, that's lovely. But yeah, I did. I did all right. My birthday present off my daughter was, um, obviously that was last week, she gave me, um, she's taken me to see Michael Bublé, so that was part of my Mother's Day present as well. And I got candles and flowers and ah, I got a sign for my craft room. How cool is that? I love it. And I have all these um, slices of wood and everything here. I've tried that many different crafts. I've got all sorts in this craft room. Right, we'll leave that at that. Because it's tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tocking. I do wonder, you have to let me know if it's because the long that people are just not subscribing as much. Um, where's my blue? Here it is. So with the elements, it only takes two seconds to put together, so that's not a problem. I'm just going to darken up a little bit. You're not going to see this little flap here. I'm going to tuck it in, and that's when my Velcro fasteners come. That's what they'll be attached to. So you just, because I am going to edge that again with... A bit more. I'm going to edge it with twilight. I can't believe it's not long since I found love in here, and it, it's so addictive. I had a few messages where people have said, "You're costing me a fortune. I bought this, this, and this because you did this, this, and this," and I feel so bad that I remember when I, because a lot of my stuff I've got is stamps with dyes, 
Um, I remember watching videos and I had to buy everything they were using because that's I wanted to create that one card. And you do struggle because that's you don't do much else with it. But when you buy these um, Lavinia stamps and things like this, you can use them for many, many, many different things. And you come up, up with your own things instead of just watching what these, I don't know how to word them, you know, the companies, what they suggest you do with it. With the Lavinia ones, you can do what you want. Don't get me wrong, I watch all the videos, loving your videos. No wrong with a bit of inspiration. Right, I'm just going to edge that with the... Not Nocturne, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Twilight. And again, I'm using this makeup sponge. Look at me using a bit of kitchen towel. Saves me getting angry with myself. I'm not, I don't even think I'm going to ink it up here. There's plenty on it. I'm just catching the edge. You see what I mean? How it makes it a bit more defined. Gosh, I've so, all of a sudden gone really warm. I've got my window open. It's that old age thing, isn't it? I think that's absolutely smashing. I might have to. Sorry, I am falling asleep, guys. Look, I put too much. That's because I've re-inked it and I shouldn't have done. Live and learn. Right, I'm going to stop. And I'm also going to see if that will blend in a bit. That's right, okay. You won't notice it. Right, let's get rid of this. I'm just having a quick drink. I'm using a yellow Posca. Probably should wait to do this. Yeah, I'll do it when I've made it up because I'm going to end up smudging it out. Right, I'm making the bag up. I'm just going to... Red tape the bits that need taping and hope that I can remember how to do it. I lost my scissors then. So I'm red taping that one to there and red taping that one to there. And I think, if I remember rightly, I put it on the bottom. We'll just go for it. Do I do the bottom? I'm going to do the bottom. I'm just going to put one piece across it. I'm not because I think it should sit in. If it doesn't, I can always add it out of it. So I'm just going to remember that way. That sticks on there, giving you the corner. Same with that side. 
Oh, do you know? Sorry, I'm just trying to give us a bit of space. So, which was my bottom? This is my bottom. So I'm going to peel these two off. Shift that in the bottom. Tape. Oh my goodness me. It's good tape. Right in there, line that open, stick that in there. Yeah, I didn't need to do the bottom. These I'm folding in because, like I said, I will put um, a velcro dot at the top there, and they will fasten in like that. It does need a sticking look. I'll just put a tiny bit of this red tape in it for now and then I'll glue it. There we go. So there's your bag. And we will put little dots to put the lights on as they say. If I'd have had more time, I would have gone round, you know, putting a few extra dots here and there. But you, I, I can do that off camera, you don't need to see that. I also dotted all around there and then one last bit is I add sparkle to the, you won't see it on here but 100% you can see it from where I am, I don't think you can catch it. Oh, I like it. It's a um, move the ink. That's lovely. There you go. I put bits of glitter on as well when I come off line. So there you go. This is the little gift bag that will be going to my daughter-in-law. And I say I'll make the wallet tomorrow, and the wallet will fit inside it. There you go. So I'm going to leave you guys, you know, I've kept you too long, but happy crafting. Have a go at some of these, you can do it on a box lid, it doesn't really matter how you do it, but I'd love to see it. Don't forget to go to the Facebook page. Okay, bye, happy crafting.